hook I'm using, this is a curved nymph hook, size 10. I'm going to lead the fly. So I'm going to start basically using, I'm using a flat tape, a sticky back tape. Start in line with the pointed hook. And then take it up to maybe a turn or so short of the eye. Just remove that piece. And then use the back of my nail to carve any bits that's coming away. I'm going to double up on the body, but I'm going to go a t two turns up and then stop a turn short from the first layer. And again, use the back of your nail. Now I want the, the nymph to sit like this in the water, so encourage this. I'm going to use the same piece of tape, the full length of the area where I've got the tape. I've got the lead. Use my nail to basically cut it, and that there will help turn the goes away. It's mostly mostly on the back here. So that's my body leaded. Then I'm going to use a use quite a lot of threads here, but I'm just using the uni. This is AO and light K hole. Start the thread at the eye and just work my way down. Now we try and keep the fly as simple as possible. Now it's important that you cover the, the lead with the thread. Take the thread all the way down until in line with the, the barb of the hook. And then come back up. See, nice and tight. Cover it the best you can. And then I'm going to put some eyes on. I'm going to use some nylon for the eyes. So I've set the hook up so I can turn it around so it's easy to work with. As I say, it's going to sit like this so the eyes go in the top. Now the eyes are just a heavy nylon and this is 12 pound nylon. As you see it's a crescent yellow colour and you need half an inch or so. And I've got a small pair of tweezers here which are into a point. Now what I do is quite simple. It's basically I want them at least a couple of mil apart the eyes, so I put it down into the point at points of the tweezers, keeping it tight. And then what I do is melt the eyes up to that point, make sure it's even. It's quite easy, just melt it up again. It'll stop. Now we'll give it a second or two until it cools down. You could below it. Now I keep it in the tweezers and then catch the eye with a turn of thread. Keeping the thread tight obviously. Just come in and want it to sit evenly either side of the shank. So you want it up towards the eye the eye of the hook. Figure eight through it, secure it in when you're happy. Just a wee quick look from the top. See how it's sitting, looks okay. And then we work our way back down, tie in the tail. Today I'm just going to use some fibres dyed yellow partridge. And there's a light feather, this is the skin here. So partridge, partridge uh, skin dyed, uh, as I see this nice yellow. These are feathers up the top, I like to use these up. And here we have some fibres. Just bring them out until they're lined up, hold the tips and tear them away from the feather. Curve the hook, go use the curve of the feathers to ground. Quite a short tail, maybe only half an inch or so. Just come round with a couple of turns. See how they sit, you want it to slightly fan out. That's it, that's fine. Now Body length is round about half. Shank length. Or half the nymph length anyway. Let's make sure that's tied in. Now, for the back, I'm going to use some uh, nymph skin. Or this one here. This is a mottled 
Numb skin. I'm spirit of her. Now we've got a width here, I cut four mil or so. Cut it into a point. And what we do is on the way back down and we tie this in. So when we offer it to the and this is the underside obviously, because this is the top of the nymph. It's very easy. Just stretch it and take it down till we light or basically at the tail. Just check every so often. See where you're at. Just watch the point of the hook. That looks okay. And then I'm gonna use some this is uh or basically finesse mayfly nymph uh, dubbing. Very pale, a light yellow. Just put it onto your thread. This is for the body and the thorax, so I'm just going to use it on my way up. And then, you want to form that off quite fine. And we bring over, throw it, the dubbing back, and we bring over our, our numb skin. And at least two to three turns anyway, draw it back, go back to our, our dubbing again. Build up another section. A quick look. Just not shy with the dubbing. The finesse dubbing is quite fine, it's a very fine dubbing. When you're happy and just work your way up. Give it a wee stretch as you go. Take your dubbing out of the way. Again. Work in with a good three or four turns. Just get it sitting properly first. And take it back. Some more dubbing. It's easier as you go. And basically you're tapering as you go up, so a bit more than again take the dubbing out of the way. It's very easy to do. And for turns, more dubbing in front. At this point we check. Just watch the point of the hook. How tidy we are. Just have to be patient with the dressing. It's fine. And bring this over. And this is the nymph skin is going to form a thorax as well, so. Half a dozen tons at this point. Take it back. And now what I'm going to use is some dyed yellow seal uh, SCDC. It's this one here. Just any CDC dyed, that's a nice yellow. It looks much stronger there, but it's actually not as strong as you think. So um, I've got two feathers here. Just tap them in, tie them. You just want the tips, make sure that they're both the same length. So you tie it really on top. These are the gills basically, small gills at the back. And I'm going to use the limb skin to separate them. Looking at least around about, see, a half the body anyway. Just pull them both together in. Just check. fine and we can tidy up first set of legs is going to be tied in there so I'm going to get back to my dubbing let's see the same mayfly finesse just dub it on the legs going to be a brown patches dyed yellow same 
Nice ball there, tape on it. Draw back what you don't want. Bring it back around. Use a slightly darker feather. Let's see, there we go. A nice strong fibre in these, so take away the fluff either side. It's got a small V in the stem, so I have an even split fibre either side of the stem. Don't want the legs too long. Just off them down either side. The shank come around with a couple of loose turns. See how they're sitting. Looks okay if you're happy enough. You can slightly tighten up. Now I'm going to bring and separate the gills with the, the nymph skin. You want one CDC feather down either side. Just give it a stretch, a little stretch, no problem. Cut it down. The gills will certainly come forward with the when you pull over the nymph skin, so just draw the whole come back, just draw them back, but you want them certainly pronounced. And I'm just gonna get some of the dubbing. A tiny bit to tidy this area up. There we go. Then we're back to forming a thorax. Tidy this area up first. Then you want a ball, the next tapered part. Taper not, this is one of the thickest parts of the, the nymph over here. A quick check. And then we're taping towards the, the eyes. Draw the dubbing back. Go back to our partridge. Again, we're going to cut another small V in. And even split fibre either side. Now, you could use rubber legs if you wish, or all these other type of fibres. You could use bites up to yourself, what you want to use. Trim away the waste at this point. Quickly take the thread up and back to that. Back down to the legs, bring over the nymph skin. Just make sure it's rolled round, don't be shy about it sitting slightly bulky because that's what you want, you want that nice shape. Tiny wee bit of dubbing here just to tidy that area up. To the thread. Not too much. Again, more dubbing. To the eyes. We're going back to our partridge. Same feather I'm using. Just going to cut out the tip. You don't need a lot of legs in this point. Yeah, again they're shorter so it's helping you to taper your fly. I'm just gonna take my time and make sure they're down either side. And then behind the eyes. Two, three, bring the head to the front. There's a waste piece there, just gonna trim that away. Now, I'm going to put a tiny bit more dubbing, just to kind of build the head up and tidy up that area. Just figure it, figure it through the eyes. Just give it a small head. Don't go too much because you'll not see the eyes. Make 
should do it. Take away the dubbin. Bring a thread to the front. Bring over your nymph skin. Slightly tighten up. You can fold this back if you want. And take a thread to the back. A couple of turns. Keep it tight. And you can come in and wet finish. Nice and tight. Then we can trim away a thread. Just a straight cut across the back. The nymph skin, as you can see there. Just make sure your eyes are sticking out. What you do is get a black pen. It's a play minute marker. Darken the eyes, so they're really pronounced. It's right at the very end. And that's basically a large mayfly nymph. <laughs>